Only one other pitcher has surpassed the 21 or the 21 mark for the Devil Rays in their organizational history. This weekend, uh, Blake Snell hits 21. Do you know who the other pitcher is? I'll throw that answer in this video uh, as I get to my picks here in just one second. It's Five Farley. It's Monday. It's the 24th of September. We are down the home stretch, the last week of the uh, regular baseball season. Uh, congratulations to those who have been going the entire season long. First, let me say thank you to subscribers and those that have su subscribed and watched throughout the whole season. I really do appreciate it. Um, for those of you just joining me, uh, man, you missed out. Uh, it's been a great season, and uh, but thank you for uh, jumping in. Uh, maybe you jumped in on the NFL picks or the college football picks, um, which were great this last weekend. But either way, I appreciate you joining in, and hopefully you follow along as we uh, finish the season out in baseball. And uh, this weekend was fantastic. Winning in college football went 3-2, and two, um, went huge on uh, fading the University of Idaho. I know people on the team, and I knew what was going to happen there. Uh, UC Davis, that line was 30 points off. I love that they put FCS on the uh, plate for uh, college football betting because it opens up a place where you can you can win a lot of money um, if you have some insight on the game. So uh, that was a three and two Saturday, Sunday, uh, four and one in NFL. If Jimmy Garoppolo didn't go down, I think they would have completed the comeback. Um, don't know about winning against the Chiefs, but they would have been within one score, I think. Gotten one more touchdown to cover that one. That would have been a 5-0 sweep, but ends up being a 4-1 uh, NFL Sunday, so I'm cool with that. Um, and then also baseball, three underdogs, 3-0 uh, yesterday. Happy about that. Need to get back on the winning ways down the stretch, which I'm going to make a quick comment on that. This, I track all my, I've done this for almost 20 years, betting baseball throughout the entire season. This time... There's a lot of dogs and a lot of money to be won. Um, if you can track the line movement and the betting percentages and uh, make your picks selectively, um, I'm looking forward to that here down the stretch. Not to guarantee anything. I don't. It's sports. It's baseball. It can go either way. But I'm just saying traditionally, this has been a really profitable week uh, taking some underdogs. So you'll see that in my picks through here throughout the week. Tune in. Check it out. I'll be posting every day. All right, so let me get into uh, today's pick, and you can even call it a twofer. Um, I don't mind taking both of these, and I will, actually. I'll make this two picks in one in one game. Um, we got Pittsburgh going to Chicago. Uh, Jamison Talon on the mound going against Cole Hamels. Um, Jamison Talon has been absolutely fantastic. As you break down his numbers and look at his last five starts, he has won... Uh, the, the, the Pirates have won six straight of his starts. He's gotten the decision in four of those. Three of them were on the road. He went 3-0 and in those starts, um, in getting a decision in all three of those road starts. His ERA is a 1.69. He is 4-0 and in his last five. Um, 32 innings, 26 hits. But what's inter interesting is almost every run that's been scored against him in his last five starts have been through a solo home run. Four home runs, four solo home runs, Six total runs. If it wasn't for solo home runs, he would have a sub one ERA over his last, in fact, below a .5 ERA in his last uh, five starts. Just absolutely awesome. Uh, really, really difficult to hit him. On the road, no problem backing him. A 249 opponent batting average and a 3.23 ERA, whereas at home it's a 3.25 ERA. No difference whatsoever. So I don't mind backing uh, Taylor on the road. Now we go to uh, Cole Hamels. Hamels has struggled at home. Um, I, he's brought it way up since uh, being with Chicago. But here as of late, I don't want to dig into this too far. Um, his 4.3 ERA, um, three of those starts have been on the road uh, where he got just smashed. He just got crushed by the Diamondbacks. Um, but really, I don't want to dig into his numbers too much other than he's beatable. He's beatable late. He hasn't pitched as sharply as he has late. Pittsburgh offense is a little bit suspect, so I definitely want to go under here. I'm going under the total of eight, but I'm also going to back Pittsburgh at a plus 135, getting dog money in this spot. Um, I'm going to back Talon uh, to get another win. That'll be seven straight starts with wins for the Pirates and fade Cole Hamels um, here down the stretch. I think it's going to be a three to two win, maybe four to two Pirates winning this one on the road. So give me the Pirates. Give me the under. I'll take both. Um, check out my other picks as we get into them. Oh, by the way, David Price. David Price is the other Tampa Bay Devil Ray 
who had 20 wins for the Devil Rays organizations. Congratulations to Blake Snell. He's won me a lot of money this year, so uh, I like the guy. I like the kid. He's got a great career ahead of him, barring no injuries. Um, but I've, I, I've just really enjoyed his pitching, and he had another gem this weekend. So I just want to throw out there real quick, good job, uh, Blake Snell. I hope you win the Cy Young. Um, so, again, going Pittsburgh, going under. Um, I'll take both. Check out my other picks here as they come along today. Um, I got my eye on a few. I think we should have a profitable Monday to start the week. All right. Good luck, everyone, this week. I'll see you again soon.